Picnic was released by US Games for the Atari 2600 in 1983. It's certainly not the first game based around food, but it may be the first where the object is to protect food. The premise is that you're out at a picnic and a huge ass swarm of bugs appears and tries to eat all your food. So you pull out your trusty swatter in an attempt to keep them away and save as much food as you can. Now I don't know about you, but once I see a bug on my sandwich, then that shit is getting tossed. I have zero intention of salvaging any of that. But for the sake of this game, let's just say we're on a very tight budget and can't spare a single morsel. Anyway, your swatter is this curve shaped thing. You shift it from side to side with the paddle controller and briefly swap by pressing the fire button. The objective is to swap when the bug sticks out its tongue in an attempt to consume the burgers on the left and right sides of the screen. If you make contact with the tongue when you swat, then it'll send the bug flying around the screen. If it lands in the trap in the middle, then you'll get extra points. But they don't mean shit. You won't get any extra lives or anything. There are three rows of bugs on the screen at one time, but only the one at the bottom is the threat. The ones above just kind of hover and wait their turn. So you really only have to keep yourself lined up with the bottom bug and follow it around. The problem is, you only have a split second's worth of time when you press the fire button, and the bug's attack patterns are so erratic and random that it's all just a big guessing game on getting the timing right. If they improved this so there was a lot more skill involved instead of just plain luck, and spread it out to all three bugs attacking at once, the game would have a lot more substance and be significantly more playable. Good gameplay would make up for the plain and blocky graphics. Although the bugs look pretty good, the burgers could be better. The trap is just a fucking rectangle, and I don't know what to make of the swatter. The gameplay doesn't make up for it, because it's just plain not fun. There are three difficulty settings, which only really change the speed of the enemies. On easy mode, it's too easy and slow, and the speed picks up as you advance throughout the game anyway. So these difficulty settings are really nothing more than a different starting point. So the game gets faster, and there's a brief happy medium in there where it's not too slow to be too easy and not too fast to be erratically difficult, but it doesn't last too long, and it's not even that fun to begin with anyway. Aside from the three difficulty settings, you can also tweak the size of the swatter to large or small, and there's a two-player alternating mode. The only other aspect of the game is the boss at the end of each wave. There's a bigger bug that has two tongues, which actually acts more of an extra target for the swatter more than a double threat. Picnic has the layout of Space Invaders and the mechanics, at least concept-wise, of Warlords. Two great games. The problem is, it doesn't deliver on either one of those, especially the latter. Picnic could have been a decent little game, but its poor design makes this title anything but a picnic. I got bugs. I got bugs in my room. Bugs in my bed. 